If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified on the next videos which I will post in this channel. More and more very exciting revelations are coming up for what would actually be the topmost project of the century for the Philippines. This is in fact the most ambitious project ever undertaken in the Philippines which is comparable to if not greater than the much awaited Metro Manila subway. The Clark Calamba Railway Project, which is officially known as the North-South Commuter Railway, is a 138 kilometers mostly elevated railway, with 36 stations, including one underground station. The Clark Calamba Railway Project consists of the following. PNR Clark Phase 1, which goes from Tatuban to Malolos, with 38 kilometers of rail line and partial operations expected at fourth quarter of 2021 and full operations expected on second quarter of 2024. This aims to reduce travel time from Tatuban to Malolos from 1 hour 30 minutes to just 35 minutes. PNR Clark Phase 2, which goes from Malolos, Bulacan to Clark International Airport with 53 kilometers of rail line and partial operations expected on second quarter of 2023 and full operations on third quarter of 2024. This aims to reduce travel from Malolos to Clark from 1 hour 30 minutes to just 35 minutes. PNR Kalamba, which goes from Solas to Kalamba with 56 kilometers of rail line and partial operations expected on second quarter of 2025 and full operations on fourth quarter of 2026 and PNR Kalamba aiming to reduce travel time from Manila to Laguna from three hours to just one hour. There will also be an airport express rail line which runs from Clark International Airport to Alabang Station Since this project is still under construction, we will go to some modern railway stations all over Asia so that we can have an idea of how it will look like. For example, if we want to travel from Kalamba to Malolos via commuter train, first we have to ride the commuter train at the Kalamba station. We are now actually at the Shilin station in Taipei. The Kalamba station will almost practically look like this. So now, we can just imagine that we are now entering the Kalamba station. This is a very typical example of how a train station will look like at the Clark Kalamba Railway, otherwise known as the North South Commuter Railway. After entering the ticket gates using our beep card and going up to the train platform, the first thing you will notice is that this station is a very advanced and high-tech station. You will now see, probably for the first time in the Philippines, what they call passenger information display where you can see exactly at what time each train will arrive at the station. You attention please. The train bound for Solas station is now arriving. Then 
depending on the train schedules, we may have to transfer trains at the solid station and from the solid station, we will take the next train to Malolos. The Clark Calamba Railway will be unlike any other railway we have ever seen in the Philippines. The whole train ride is of course high tech which we have never seen before in LRT1 or LRT2 or MRT3 or even the latest MRT7. All stations of the Clark Columba Railway will be equipped with half-height platform screen doors except the Clark International Airport Station which is fully air-conditioned and will be equipped with full-height platform screen doors. The train station will be very long as it will have to fit a very long train set with an 8-car formation and an option to fit 10 cars in a very long train. The main purpose of platform screen doors is to avoid unnecessary accidents so that passengers will not fall into the railroad tracks and being run over by a train. It will just take almost an hour and 30 minutes before we arrive at the Malolos station. is just the tip of the iceberg as there is more to be revealed in this story. It should be noted that in the NSCR, the CPNS01 contractor must provide all the platform screen doors and in the Tutaban area must provide all the e &M systems and track work. So on the NSCR, there will be three services in operation. Firstly, we have the Limited Express which runs from Alabang with limited stops up to CIA. We then have the NSCR commuter service that runs from Calamba all the way to CIA with a spur off at Tutaban. And finally, we have a connection with the Manila subway project at Bikutan. So trains running on the Manila subway will join the NSCR alignment at Bikutan and the service will continue down to Kalamba. The platform screen doors, half-height platform screen doors, will be, be provided for all stations on MCRP, NSRP South, NSCR. However, at CIA, which is an underground station, full-height PSDs will be provided. With the Clark Kalamba Railway, otherwise known as the North-South Commuter Railway, we will be able to ride the Metro Manila subway from the Calamba station. For example, if we want, we can travel using the Metro Manila subway train from the Calamba station to the North Avenue station. The Metro Manila subway will join the North-South commuter railway at Bikutan all the way to Calamba. That means that the Metro Manila subway will actually be a part of the clark Columba Railway, which is also called the North-South Commuter Railway. That also means that when the North-South Commuter Railway project is completed, we can ride the Metro Manila subway train at the Columba station and get down at the Metro Manila subway North Avenue station. We can also ride the all-stop commuter train from the Clark International Airport all the way to Calamba Station.
aside from that, if we are in a hurry, we can ride the airport express train from the Clark International Airport. To reduce travel time on the airport express train from the Clark International Airport station, the airport express train will now have only two stops at the Buendia station and the Alabang station. Express trains are designed to stop only on few stations to reduce travel time to the designated destination. Your attention please. The limited airport express train to Buendia and Alabang station is now approaching. In this example, we are assigned seats number 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D on car number 5. So, we will ride the train at car number 5. The airport express train of the Clark Columbia Railway will be very long, as it will be in an 8-car formation, with the option to extend to a 10-car formation. The airport express train, which is also called limited airport express train, will have a maximum speed of 160 km per hour. To ensure punctual train departures and arrivals, the all-stop commuter train and the limited airport express train will have their own elevated railway tracks separate from each other thus forming for elevated tracks something never seen in the Philippines where only two tracks are normally seen in all the LRT1, LRT2, MRT3 and MRT7 of Metro Manila thanks for watching and as always don't worry be happy and have a very happy trip.